and uh, find a comfortable seat and let your hands just rest down comfortably on your knees. Whew, and definitely I'm gonna need this. Let's all take a big breath in. Nice, easy exhale out the mouth. And again, a big breath in. Exhale, let it all go. One more time, big breath in. And let it all go. Nice, you guys. Go ahead and drop your chin slightly so that you can extend up through the back of the neck. And just start to come into some of Ritti breathing. So think of an equal inhale and an equal exhale. And just remember that this isn't endurance breathing. Right, so it's just finding the natural path of your breath and trying to level out both the inhale and the exhale. And if you're just joining us, go ahead and make sure that your audio is muted. And then let's go ahead and take our fingertips out to the sides. Turn the palms up, guys, and inhale, reach up nice and tall. Interlace the fingers and press the palms towards heaven. Lift the chest, draw the arms back behind the ears opening the heart and then let's gently move into a twist taking this left hand over to the right knee lift the chest keep breathing now holding on to this knee go ahead and bring the right arm overhead a little side stretch here Nice and easy with the breath. Nice, you guys, let's look, come back up to center. Interlace the hands, press the palms up again. Draw the arms back, nice stretch for our shoulders. And then let's twist over to the left. Back of the right hand to the left knee. Left shoulder blade draws towards the spine just to open the heart a little bit more. Keep breathing. And then bring this left arm up and over, using that left knee as leverage. Maybe turn, look underneath the arm. And then let's come back to center. Arms come up and over. And this time let's fold forward, coming into a table pose. Wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips, and just push the floor away round through the upper back. Now I want you to hold on to the space at the belly button. So keep drawing the navel to the spine. And then inhale, lift the chest, the crown of the head, the tailbone. So it's a little bit more active cat-cow. So holding that space in the belly button as you round through the upper back. And then inhale, hold that space, chest lifts, crown of the head, tailbone. And one more time, let's round. So one more time, reach the heart forward. Feels a little bit like your cobra chest. And then let's come to a neutral spine. Take your right foot out to the side. Make sure that the arch of this right foot is in line with the left knee. 
Nice. And ideally, that foot is flat, or we're at least rolling to the outer edge of that right foot. And then we're going to slide this left arm underneath. A little bit deeper variation of threading the needle. So let's come back to that awareness of the belly button. Draw the navel to the spine just to support the low back here. So we don't want to just get into this and collapse. I mean, I suppose you could, but why would you, right? Keep breathing. And then let's come back to center. And bring that knee back underneath you. A couple more cat cows. Again, holding that space in the belly, not just letting the belly drop, but holding that space. So it's a strong belly. And then let's take that left foot out to the side and thread that right arm underneath. And keep breathing. Breath is easy. Navel to the spine, strong here. Still rolling to the outer edge of that left foot. Nice, you guys, let's slowly come back up to center. Couple of cat cows. And then let's curl our toes under, push the floor away. Let's lift right up into our down dog. Nice, so check out your down dog here. Make sure your feet are hip distance apart. If you are one of those that tends to lock your knees, I know who you are, I know you're out there. Bend your knees slightly and start to soften your chest towards your thighs. Then see if you can root your heels down. Let's take a big breath in. And exhale like no one can hear you. A couple more times. Big breath in. Exhale, let it go. One more time, inhale. One more time, let it go. Right, you guys. Let's look at that space at the top of your mat and get your feet there any way you can. You can hop, jump, walk, crawl. Just finding your forward fold once you get here. And in this forward fold, same idea, keep the legs straight. So even if the hands don't go all the way down, let's keep our hamstrings safe by keeping the legs straight. So you might have your hands on your shins, on your thighs. If you can go deeper, you can hold the backs of the ankles and just fold here. Slight internal rotation in the thighs, well actually in the whole legs. That would be weird if you could just internally rotate your thighs, wouldn't it? Nice, now let's press into our feet and inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Let's take a nice forward fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, fold. Press into the feet, inhale, rise all the way up. Hands to the heart. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, fold deep. Inhale, half. Exhale, fold. Press and rise. Hands to the heart. One more time, guys. Follow the breath. And fold. Halfway. Fold deep, pressing the feet, rise up, hands to the heart. All right, we're going to move towards Surya Namaskar. Inhale, reach up, exhale and fold. Inhale, half, and step back into your plank and move through a vinyasa. We'll meet up in down dog. So that means you can skip the vinyasa if you want and just go right to down dog. 
couple of breaths. Nice, you guys. Let's step our right foot forward into warrior one, making sure that back heel is down as we rise up. Lift up, maybe the fingertips can press together overhead. Back leg is strong, rolling to the outer edge of that back foot. That might sound a little familiar. Then we're gonna reach our heart forward. Guys, we're gonna pivot around and take a wide leg forward fold. Have your hands between your feet, thumbs touching each other. So you might need books or a block here, or you can be on your fingertips. Elbows press back and then inhale, lift the heart. Straighten the arms, press the palms towards earth. Exhale, bend the elbows and fold. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale and fold. Strong in the arms, inhale one more time, lift up. Walk the hands under the shoulders. Let's pivot to the back of the mat, set up warrior one. Reach up. Just remember, if you're on a soft surface, to pick up your feet more in those pivots. Lift the heart, you guys. Keep breathing. Then reach the heart forward, frame the foot, step back to plank, and let's take another vinyasa. And again, remember these are optional. Down dog. Next inhale, we take that right foot forward, back heel down, warrior one. We're making a mandala here, a full circle of our mat. Heart lifts. Heart moves forward. Same thing, pivot around. Feet are parallel to each other in the sides of the mat. Hands underneath, in line with the feet if that's possible. Inhale, straighten the arms, lift the heart. Exhale and fold. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale and fold. Inhale, fingertips come under the shoulders. Let's pivot to the top, warrior one. Nice, you guys, heart reaches forward. Take the hands down to the earth. This time, step that back foot forward, full forward fold. Press into your feet and inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Hands to the heart. Inhale, reach up, exhale and fold. We're gonna do that again, inhale half. On the exhale, step back to your plank if you want. Take your vinyasa or just go right to down dog. Nice, we'll all meet up in our down dog. Looks good. All right, next available inhale, get that right foot forward, back heel down, warrior one. Heart lifts. Heart moves forward. Wide leg forward fold, pivot around. Inhale, halfway, straighten the arms. Exhale, find that space in the belly as we fold. Inhale, lift up. Exhale and fold. One more time, inhale, lift up. And let's pivot to the back, warrior one. Take your time, check out your setup. Make sure that back foot hasn't hopped behind the front foot. It does that a lot in these mandalas. And then when you feel ready, feel the foundation underneath you, root to rise, lifting all the way up. Heart forward. Frame the foot, step back to plank, and take a vinyasa. Down dog. Nice, you guys. Last time around. Right foot forward, back heel down, rise up. Heart forward, pivot around. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lift the heart. 
Exhale and fold. One more time, lift up. Let's pivot to the top. Warrior one. And then let's frame the foot, guys. Step forward. Take a nice slow roll all the way up to standing. Bring the hands to the heart. Close the eyes. Come back to the breath. Come back to the foundation of the feet underneath you. Bring your hands to your hips and open your eyes. Firm this left leg and bring your right knee up into a balance. So you're at home or wherever you're at, you've got lots of props around you like walls and doors and sofas and whatnot to help you balance. So don't be afraid to get help if you need it. If it's available, then set, extend the arms overhead, clasp the elbows. Yeah. Keep lifting the chest. Think of your cobra pose here, but hold that space in the belly and smile. It's 4.30, we're doing yoga. Some of us are doing it in our pajamas. That's even better. All right, let's take that right foot down, full forward fold here, you guys. Paddle out the feet. I just decided that now all clothes are yoga clothes if you're doing yoga in them, right? So anything you're wearing and doing yoga in is yoga clothes. All right, nice slow roll all the way up. Hands come to the heart. Then bring them to the hips, firm this right leg. Left knee comes up into that balance. Guys, make sure you're not leaning super far back so that you're dumping into the low back. I want you to think that the shoulders stay right over the hips for this balance. So the foot might not come up as high as maybe the ego wants it to. Once you feel stable here by firming the right leg, extend the arms overhead, lift the chest, lift the ribcage up off the belly, then maybe clasp the elbows. But you gotta keep breathing. Nice, you guys. Keep breathing. Breath is easy. You got it, Jody. <laughs> Recounter. Good job. Nice, you guys. Extend the arms up. Let's take that left leg down. Full forward fold. Pedal it out. Nice, you guys. Inhale, half. Huh? And again, let's step back into plank, take a vinyasa and meet me in down dog. Then we're gonna take our right foot forward, left knee down into a low lunge. Nice, you guys, you're gonna put a little bit more weight into your left hand. Bring this right arm out in front and your right shoulder to the inside of your right knee and you're gonna reach the hands forward or the, the right hand forward. And then inhale, circle it all the way up and back. We've done this before. Exhale, bring it all the way back down. Inhale, open it up. Again, the hand, the arm comes to the inside of the knee. Exhale, take it down. One more time. Hold out here. Maybe take the back of the right hand to the tailbone or to the left hip and look over that back shoulder. Now, are you rolling to the outer edge of that right foot? Try to stay grounded here, pressing into the right big toe mound. Keep breathing, guys. Nice, let's release this right arm. Frame the foot, step back to plank. Take your vinyasa. And meet me in down dog. Nice, let's take the left foot forward this time, right knee down. Mindful, knee, shins, toes all point in the same direction. Don't let that knee shoot past the ankle. And again, bring that left hand to the inside of the left leg, reach the fingertips. Like you're just trying to touch something, but it's moving away. Left arm comes up and over. We reach it back. 
Bring it back in. Circle it up and over. Bring it down. One more time, reach it back. One more time, take it over. And then this time as we reach it back, find the bind. Back of the hand to the tailbone, maybe to the hip. Think of taking that left shoulder blade towards the spine. So it's a little twisty here. We drop a little more into this right hip. Nice, you guys. Let's release. Frame the foot. Go ahead and take a vinyasa. Meet me in your down dog. And that's not me rushing you by any stretch of the imagination. Just let me know where we're going next. All right, right foot forward, left knee down, same flow. All right, mindful here that we keep this big toe mound rooting. Right hand comes forward, slowly bring it up and back. And then bring it down. Bring it up. And bring it down. And bring it up. One more time, bring it down. And then take it back. So two options here, you can go for the bind. If your quads are a little more open, you can bend that back knee. Maybe just reach towards the heels. I'm just letting my fingertips rest on my heels. I'm not going for this big grab. But the idea is that we take that right shoulder blade, move it towards the spine to open the heart and twist a little deeper. Right, grabbing the heel isn't the goal, right? I mean, it might be for some of you, right? <laughs> but really, we're just trying to open up the quads a little bit. Now, without letting this back foot slingshot, release and bring the hand down, frame the foot. Step back to plank and take your vinyasa. Down dog. And left foot forward, guys, right knee down. Left hand to the inside, reach it up and back. Bring it down, up and back. Bring it down, and up and back. One more time. Well, this time, if you want, you can either take the bind, or if it's available and it's not causing you pain, you just try to connect to that back heel. We do not move to pain in yoga. Right, we come to a place where we have a sense of awareness that maybe something is changing or shifting in the body. But pain is a sign that we've gone a little bit too far. Keep breathing. Nice, without slingshotting, release that back leg, frame the front foot, step back to plank, take your vinyasa. Down dog. Couple of breaths. And find a way to get your feet to the top of the mat. Again, hop, jump, walk, crawl, whatever you gotta do. Full forward fold. And slowly rise up. Hands come to the heart. Nice, you guys. All right, so we're gonna come into another balance. I'm gonna take profile so you can see what we're gonna do. So that same idea of the knee bent, but then we're gonna draw the knee back in line with the opposite knee and maybe catch that heel like we just did and extend the opposite arm up. So the work here, guys, is drawing this side back, pressing your hips forward, lifting your 
chest. So think of your cobra or your up dog position here, but keep pressing the hips forward. All right, so we'll do that together. You got lots of props around you, so feel free to use them. That is not cheating. So let's start by firming the left leg. Right, hands on the hips, bring the right knee up. And then just start to press that right knee back so it's in line with the left knee. Just reach back with your left hand, or I'm sorry, right hand. <laughs> and draw that heel towards the bum, lift the chest. Now, if this feels pretty stable to you and the thighs are firm, extend that left arm up towards heaven. Lift the chest, press the hips towards the sound of my voice. Nice, you guys. I find smiling always helps in a balance. This kind of lightens us up a little bit. Keep breathing. Balance is different every second of the day. I say it all the time. And remember that this is a verb. It's an action. All right, with control, release that back leg, the right leg. Come on, bring the hands down. Pedal the feet out here. Nice, and again, if you need to use a wall, feel free, all right? This time we're gonna firm our right leg and bring the left knee up. Lift the chest and then start to slide that left knee back in line with the right knee. Reach back if you can, catch that heel, maybe just catch your pant leg, right? Whatever you need. Keep firming both sides, hips pressed together. If that feels stable, then take the right arm up. If that right arm gets up there and you're like, whoa, right? Then don't do it. Just keep the hand on the hips. Keep breathing. Opening the chest. Nice, you guys. And then without slingshotting, release that left leg down, bring the hand down, full forward fold, guys, pedal it out. Inhale, half. Let's exhale, step back to down dog. And then slowly guys, let's lower down into child's pose. Couple of breaths in child's pose. Just connecting with the breath. Connecting to your beautiful beating heart. Nice, you guys, couple more breaths. All right, let's slowly come forward onto our belly. Nice, so we're gonna bring our right arm forward so that our forearm is parallel to the mat or to the top of the mat. It's gonna work as a stabilizer. Then you're gonna bring your left heel to your bum. Now, sometimes I know we press the thighs up in this particular pose. We're not gonna do that today. I just want you to reach around, take that left shoulder blade towards the spine and maybe catch the left ankle, maybe the pant leg, maybe you're just reaching in that direction, drawing the heel a little bit more towards the bum. Then lift the chest, lift the crown of your head. Find that space in the belly, guys, like we did in, in cat-cow, drawing the navel to the spine, pressing your hips towards the earth. Keep breathing. There shouldn't be any pain in your knees here. If you're having pain in your knees, you want to release the hand and just bend the knee a little bit here. You're not missing anything, don't worry. And then slowly, guys, release that left side. Bring the left arm forward. Let's bring the right heel to the bum. Right shoulder blade draws towards the spine as we reach back towards that right ankle. All right, flex the foot if you can. 
Think of lifting the chest, pressing that ankle into the hand, but think about pressing the hips down, navel to the spine. So nice and strong here, crown of the head lifts. Your crown and your chin are not attached, right? So the chin still faces forward, but the crown begins to extend upward. And then release down on the side. Just take your head down, maybe rock your hips a little from side to side. Nice, now let's go for both sides. So let's bring both heels in. If you can, circle the arms around. Again, either the pant legs, the ankles, whatever works. Flex the feet. So think first, rolling the shoulder blades towards the spine. Press your hips towards the earth. Lift the chest. Lift the crown of your head. Navel to the spine. All right, so we're not lifting the legs up in this one. If you really got to lift your legs, you can. But it's really more about the core strength here. Getting a little shoulder stretch. Lifting the chest. Find cobra in the chest. And then slowly release down. Rest your hands down in front of you. Rest on your right cheek and bring your left knee out to the side like half of a frog. And maybe you feel the beautiful rhythm of your breath against the earth, right? Your belly breathing. Your breath is easy. Then let's switch it up to the other side. Left cheek, right knee. Maybe this time you can feel your beautiful heart beating against the earth. The rhythm of your breath. Nice, you guys, let's come back to center. Slowly press back to child's pose. Don't get too comfy, just for a breath or two. And then come forward into your table pose. Couple of cat cows. Again, holding that space in the belly. Rounding through the spine. All right, guys, let's reach our left leg back behind us. Stay right on the ball of the foot. Again, find cobra in the chest as you lift your chest here and then press the left leg up behind you, right in line with the bum. Then extend the right arm forward. Like you're trying to reach something, but it keeps moving away from you. Palm turns in. Nice and stable, you guys. Nice, then bring this right hand down, bring the right knee down, I'm sorry, left knee down. Take the left leg out to the side. All right, and thread the needle like we did when we were first warming up. Nice guys, now slowly come back up. Take this left foot, <clears throat> excuse me, slide it behind you. <coughs> Sorry guys, and then rotate that right knee back. 
We're going to reach up. So we're using it as a kickstand. Then press that back leg up. And take the top hand to the tailbone. Take the heel to the bum, maybe you catch the heel. Hips press away from you. Chest towards the chin. And then gently release. Come on back down. Couple of cat cows. Nice, now let's reach this left leg back behind us. Sorry, right leg back behind you. Whichever one you didn't just do. I'm spinning around on my mat to show you all the different directions. So it is, it's your right leg back, left arm forward. Press that right leg up. Heart reaches forward. Find that space in the belly, guys. It's not this big rounding, it's just drawing the navel to the spine extending in both directions. Keep breathing. Nice, bring the left hand down, bring the right knee in, and then take the right leg out to the side. Thread the needle. Keep breathing. Come back up to center. Circle that leg back behind you. And then the bottom knee circles back, works kind of like a kickstand. Root down, right arm reaches up. You got it. Press the leg up. And bend that knee, maybe go for the bind. Heart begins to open. Hips press forward. Find cobra in your chest. Nice, you guys. Nice, easy release. No slingshotting. Circle down. Couple of cat cows. Curl the toes under. Find your down dog. Last call, last vinyasa. Meet me in child's pose. Rock through the hips. Slowly, guys, let's rise up. Bring your feet out in front. Yay. So reaching the heels forward. Then we're gonna bend this right knee. Take this right foot to the outside of the left thigh. And wrap that left arm around. Nice little twist. Keep lifting the chest. So I'm starting to have some of those Zoom moments because I'm teaching some corporate classes and stuff. And this weekend I started with a, one of my corporate classes back and the husband was in his room doing his class. 
And apparently his wife didn't know as she walked right through the background in her bra. <laughs> it's like, oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't see them much after that. <laughs> so, it happens. First, I thought it was a really fancy sports bra. It was not. All right, guys, let's take a counter twist. So twist over to the left. Right hand holds on to this right foot. Chest lifts. All right, guys, holding onto this right foot with your right hand, let's slowly come back to center, bringing the foot with us, and just move this foot around a little bit. Again, if we didn't open up the hip enough, we'll do it now. And you can even take that left hand back just to kind of counter you or brace you a little bit. And if you can't hold onto the foot, hold onto the pant leg or the ankle, it's okay. You can even hold behind the knee. And let's pause and extend up through this leg. So again, you are gonna lean back with this and you can always hold behind the knee. And then start to reach forward with that leg. Let it pull you down into a forward fold. Couple of breaths here. Now I know I'm usually a stickler about a nice long back in this, but if you feel the need to round in the upper back a little bit, feel free. Almost like you're wrapping your shoulders around your legs, breathing into the space right behind the heart. And then let's slowly roll up and just bring this left knee along for the ride and take the left foot over to the outside of the right thigh. Right arm wraps around using this leg as leverage to lift our chest, cobra in the chest. Keep breathing. Left shoulder blade draws towards the spine. Nice, you guys, let's take a counter twist. So left hand comes over, maybe holds onto this left foot. Chest lifts. Keep breathing. Nice, guys, and as we start to come back to center, just bring this left foot along for the ride and start to make some hip circles. Draw the knee back underneath the armpit, just whatever you need. Nice. When you're ready, let's just straighten that leg. Again, right hand behind you, lean back into that right hand if you need to. Lift the chest. One more time, cobra in the chest. And then reach that foot forward, Paschimottanasana. Let's come into this forward fold. Reconnecting with the breath. Let the hands just rest alongside the body. Now let's slowly roll up. So start to tuck the chin round through your upper back. Roll back up into your seated position. Bend your knees, guys. Take your feet wide. Windshield wiper. And as you get into this windshield wipering, see if you can just slowly 
lower yourself down onto your back and just keep windshield wiper in the knees. Then let's bring our knees up to center. Walk your heels back close to your bum. Reach your fingertips towards your heels. Nice. Press into your feet from the tips of the toes to the heels. Start to take your knees forward. Lift the hips. Lift the chest. Press into the arms. Imagine the sides of your legs getting longer. So the knees are reaching away from the crown of the head. Breath should stay pretty easy in the throat here, guys. So the chest moves towards the chin, not the chin drawing towards the chest. When you do that, you can't breathe. And then let's slowly lower down. Upper back, middle back, low back, tailbone. Again, press into the feet, toes to heels, knees press forward, hips lift, chest lift. Gazing towards the ceiling. Breath is easy. And lower down. Upper back, middle back, low back, tailbone. One more time, guys. Root through the feet. Knees forward. Knees reach away from the crown. Hips lift. And maybe take one shoulder blade and then the other underneath you. Interlace the hands. Chest moves towards the chin. Soften the skin around your eyes. Maybe even close the eyes. Relax your jaw. And let's release the arms. Lowering down one last time. Upper back, middle back. Low back, tailbone. Nice, draw the knees into the chest one more time, rounding through the spine. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, surrender down into your Shavasana. So whatever Shavasana setup you might need, if your low back feels a little tingly or a little uncomfortable, you might want to bring the soles of your feet together, knees out to the side. You could also grab a pillow and place it under your knees, giving your knees a little bit of bend. So whatever you need. And if you've got the space, you can always take your legs up the wall. Once you get settled in though, I ask that you place one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. We use this time to come back to this present moment using the breath and the beating heart as an anchor.
Start to draw your next inhale deep into the belly. And exhale out the mouth. Again, big breath in. And exhale, let it go. One more time, big breath in. And as you exhale, bend your knees, plant your feet on the earth. And maybe reach the arms back alongside the ears, clasp the elbows, lifting the chest one more time towards the chin, just a nice little stretch. And then release the arms rolling over onto your side. Just as if you're just rolling out of bed for the first time today. And when you're ready, through the strength of your arms, bring yourself up to a comfortable seated position, bringing our hands together at our heart. And let's honor this practice together by breathing together just one more time. Everybody take a big breath in. And exhale, let it all go. Thank you all for sharing your wonderful gift of yoga today and for showing up and for being patient with me showing up. May you have peace in your body, peace with your words, peace in your mind. Namaste.